Morning. Okay, welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. Shout out to all the subscribers. As always, thank you very much to anybody new locked in. Gratitude to you. We're going to be talking about Subriel Matias. I've done quite a few videos on this guy. I absolutely adore his fighting style. I love his fighting spirit. And this video is actually going to be about his punch technique, okay? And we're going to talk scientifically, really. I'm going to break down, at least give you my thoughts and my ideas. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments too. We can chop it up. But essentially, he's got a very interesting technique because there are some flaws in there, if you will. But given, given that, he's still able to generate an absolutely monumental amount of power <laughs> and knock out guys going backwards okay with not always with his feet on the ground and as a power puncher or somebody who needs to punch you have to have a good relationship with the ground your feet and the ground need to be good his aren't typically that good all the time and he's still able to generate so much power and leverage from a close range going backwards knocking guys out it's absolutely remarkable and I, some of it i don't quite understand but we're going to we're going to get into the video so let's go porque cuando tú estás seguro boxing de lo que tú das y tú eres no le temes a los riesgos el orgullo de Baternillo Subriel Okay, I'm really going to focus on his left hook mainly. I know, you know, he obviously throws combinations and punches in bunches, and I'll talk briefly about the cadence of that, which is why I think a lot of uh, fighters get thrown off by his rhythm and how he fights. Because the cadence, when I mean cadence, you know, typically in boxing, you have like, bah, bah, like one, two, one, two hook, bah, 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 bah. you know, there's a, there's a similar pattern and a similar cadence to what would be an orthodox way of fighting, right? Not orthodox in the stance, just just to, uh, uh, the way most fighters are taught. But if you look at Subriel Matias's cadence, he's throwing punches. Like he'll start his uh, another punch before the other one's even finished. He'll, he'll shoot off these little punches. I think personally that creates a different rhythm for his opponent to actually feel and understand. And they don't know where the shots are coming from because it's so unique and so unorthodox. But one thing that I've noticed that he is exceptional at, and I'm sure other people have, is, is the ability that he whips that left hook in from such a short range with such velocity. It's very dynamic and it just it chops it in like that. And he actually does what's called a palm facing up hook, okay? Typically there are two types of hooks. There's a palm facing down where you have the palm facing down like this, where it's a shorter hook like that on the inside, or, you know, it can be used as a power shot too, but it invokes different muscles. But the palm facing up hook, right, is usually a more powerful hook. Why? Because you're, you're opening up loads of other muscles from your back, from the pectorials. You're also using the wrist flexors, okay, which are, which are there's wrist extensors, which go over the top, and I'll, put, I'll pull up a little image as well so you can see it. But the wrist flexors are far more powerful than the wrist extensors. And they get activated way more when you're throwing an open uh, a hook like that, which is the palm, uh, thumb facing up, which is what Matthias does, which is one of the reasons why it's so powerful. But the amount of leverage he gets in, I mean, he defies gravity, <laughs> right? It's like a 12-gauge shotgun going off in someone's face where, like, it just... It just the guy gets so much leverage from down here. So he's punching up, right? So not only is he fighting against gravity, he'll throw hooks in like that. And you can see he doesn't always get the shot in line like that, which typically you would want to do because it has the bones hitting the, the target like that. So you get maximum power. Often he'll come in like that at the side and he's still knocking people out. <laughs> it's quite remarkable. But back to the science of it, okay? There's something called a kinetic chain, right? Which is 
um, an energy transfer of energy and, and an alignment of your joints all culminating together typically well starts in the foot right so baseball players golfers it's the same thing they transfer the weight from the ground all the way through to the top to the tip to the end of your fist to your opponent's face <laughs> but it's it's you know Anue does this beautifully well, where I'm going with this is Matthias doesn't really use a full full kinetic chain which is what makes it even more remarkable because he relies a lot of it on arm punches like that and he's still able to generate so much power from such a short um, space and time but a kinetic chain travels from your from your foot all the way through your body and all this energy travels through it's like the um, you know remember the science class that little ball Newton's or something great I don't know what it's called I'll leave it on the screen you know what I mean you've seen those little balls everybody like you know gets them for some Christmas present or something like that but that's the connection of power it's really important because that's the transfer if you don't have the kinetic chain working properly and your technique breaks down a little bit usually you're left with less power but with Matias, sometimes, like I said, his feet are in the air, he, are in the air. He's moving backwards, while so he's disrupting the chain a little bit, and he's still able to whip in such a fierce punch, effortlessly knocking guys out at a high level, and it's absolutely remarkable. Now, in the arm, there's 24 muscles in the arm, right? And I'm going to show you a picture of all the muscles that are activated in 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 just in the arm. And if you actually look at his arm. It like it comes alive. <laughs> it reminds me of um, a tennis player, right? I don't watch tennis or play tennis, but I know Rafael Nadal, and I know that he's got a very disproportionate size of arm from his left to his right. I know he obviously uses his left arm a lot more, and I'm wondering like, I, I, it doesn't look like Matias has a disproportionate size in his arm, but I know he probably definitely uses his left hook way more. So obviously he's built up strength in it somehow. But if you look, it, his arm when he's, I'll freeze it right now against Duke Mbaev when it throws. Look at, look at how his arm just comes alive. And that is just generating so much power. All those muscles together in the arm collectively, collectively with the chest muscles, with his back muscles, with the rhythm, with the leverage culminate in such a vicious punch. It's like, literally like a 12 gauge shotgun going off on his head. The Terminator. He's got something that, you know, in boxing is called heavy handed. Now, heavy handed doesn't, to me, it doesn't just mean you can punch, right? You know, I, I don't know anyone that out there has boxed someone before. Like, you, you, when you feel someone's punch on them, it's like they, like someone that's heavy handed, it just feels like their gloves have got like rocks loaded in them. If they just feel heavy. And, you know, you take a shot and you think, oh my gosh, they, ha they have heavy hands. Not just explosive punches that can whip in shots like, let's just say Mark Breland, right? Amazing boxer, legend in Brooklyn. Could really punch, real skinny guy, but he doesn't look like he's got heavy hands, but he can really punch. But with somebody like Matias, it looks like he's just heavy handed and the feel of just someone just touching you. When he just touches, he just touches you like that. Crack. I'll, show, I'll pull up this clip where He's just against the Nanyan. It was like the seventh or eighth round, I think. And he just lets off these combinations. And he's just got his arm from here to here. Moves it there. And look, he just he stuns the Nanyan, moves him back. But that's just a short amount of movement like that. That's heavy-handed, I think. Because he's just, he's just, I don't know where power comes from. It's one of the more fascinating things in boxing, for me at least. Because you can have guys like Timothy Bradley who look like he can really crack. But let's be honest, you know, he couldn't punch at all, really. Tremendous fighter. I'm not trying to have a go at him. But you, you match him up with, let's just use Mark Breland. And you would think, yeah, Mark Breland probably won't be able to punch as hard. But it's the leverage. It's the technique as well. And there's so much. There's a mystery behind it as well. You know, it really is. It looks like Matthias has got, you know, like a bionic arm. <laughs> it looks like he has, 
you you strip that down and he's got the Terminator bionic arm. He punches so hard because his technique, I think, could be improved. And he is getting better and better. And his defense is getting better and better. And his, his, his just his body language and his attitude and everything about him, he's just getting better and better. And there's a little clip right now, actually, defensively, I'll show you against the Nanyan as well, where he's in the pocket, right? Basically punching range. And he'll slip a shot, he'll come over, he'll block the left hook, and he's still in punching range, he'll swerve the right hand, and he'll come back, and then he'll shoot his own right hand in. I mean, it's like cute stuff, you know? It really is. It, it looks a little awkward and cumbersome, but he gets the job done, obviously. He's a tremendous fighter. I love watching him fight, and he's going to be in some fantastic fights. I'm actually working on a... Um, a breakdown with him and Paro. I might do a, a fairly extravagant film study on that, to be honest with you. If I if I have the time, I probably will, but I'm certainly gonna do a video on the fight breakdown for that. And I'll be covering that fight quite hard leading into it because Liam Paro is a good fighter, man. He's gonna be ready to fight. I think I'm gonna make a video about Paro tomorrow, actually, or the next couple of days. Shout out to the Australians locked in. Yeah, I don't know what they're feeding the Aussies down there because there's some tough men. And Subra Matias is a tough man. You know, he's impossible not to like. I love this dude. And, you know, I wanted to break down scientifically what, what, where the power's coming from. So a quick summary. I know I've been rambling. What is it? 11.52. Okay, not too bad. Hopefully you guys are still with me. Shout out to anybody that, that watches the videos this, this far in. I really appreciate it, man. I really do. It's supposed to be some eclipse today. It's a kind of a beautiful day. The summer is on the way. May is not around the well. It's around the corner. Spring is here. I meant to say so. You know, it's just, I'm in good spirits <laughs> as always. But I just wanted to say thank you. Anyway, let's uh, do a quick summary. Matthias, obviously, he uses that. Um, palm facing up hook which is more powerful he's able to generate a tremendous amount of leverage with speed and i think he has underrated punching hand speed he just doesn't use it you know as much but he's got he's got some hand speed when he wants to and he can he can shoot his punches in awkward positions reel off shots with awkward um look like they're uncoordinated cadence but i think that can work in his favor because the cadence is hard to time and it's hard to judge. It's a different type of pattern, you know? These are just my thoughts and opinions, you know? Like I said, I'd love to know yours. I'm just some random guy on YouTube that loves boxing and love chatting to you guys. So I, I'd love to hear from you if you have anything else to add. But on top of that, he's got a bionic arm. <laughs> he shoots 12 gauge shotguns out of his arm into your face. I mean, it's a mystery where the power comes from because like I said he doesn't utilize a full kinetic chain and he's still able to just whip these hard shots in small distance with speed doesn't connect fully like that I mean once he starts doing that if he does if he get if he gets better and I'm saying in air quotations because he doesn't really need to because he's doing the job but if he were to really focus on quality straight technique like that bam man he could really he could really hurt guys more <laughs> anyway that's it from me. I've been rambling. I will hopefully get this video out tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. And I've got also a video on who is the king at 154, which will be coming out Tuesday. And then I'll be covering up, you know, I don't know. I just sometimes I just cover fights or, or whatever, whatever suits, you know, the mood at the time. So let me know your thoughts. I am out of here boxing on the edge. Peace. Now listen to me very carefully. Porque cuando tú estás seguro, Terminator, 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 de lo que tú das y tú eres, no le temes a los riesgos. Mahaley from Fajardo, Puerto Rico. Porque cuando tú estás seguro, I'm a machine. When you're sure what you know that you have, the skill that you have, then you take the fight. Porque cuando tú estás seguro de lo que tú das y tú eres, no le temes a los riesgos. El orgullo de Maternillo Subriel Matías.
Before I go, I just wanted to say, this track in the background, I was supposed to get it finished and I was gonna leave it. I'm going to finish it in the next couple of days. And the next time I do a video on Matthias, I'm gonna offer this track for free. It'll be a free download. There's been a couple of people that have asked me about this song. I made this beat about a year ago and I just linked it with Sabriel Matthias. So every time I make a video, I'll probably have this as an outro, but I wanted to give it to you guys as an option to buy, uh, not buy, free, a free download. I'm a musician and I sell beats and I wanted to give it to you guys just to say thank you and show my gratitude. So next video on Matthias, I'll get in the studio, I'll finish this beat, that is gonna be for you. If you want it, free download, that's it. I'm a Terminator. Cuando tú estás seguro de lo que tú das y tú eres, no le temes a los riesgos. Listen to me very carefully. I'm a terminator. I'm a terminator. I'm a terminator. Listen to me very carefully. Porque cuando tú estás seguro de lo que tú das y tú eres, no le temes a los riesgos. I'm a Terminator. 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 There was a lot of risk in taking this fight. Why did you do it? Había muchos riesgos en esta pelea. ¿Por qué tomaste la pelea? Porque cuando tú estás seguro de lo que tú das y tú eres, no le temes a los riesgos. Is that when you're sure what you know that you have, the skill that you have, then you take the fight.